And I realized that what had happened to me was incredible, valuable. And it was not something that was personal. So it was not something that belonged to me. So I started sharing in Denmark, shooting videos, talking about what I see and what I continue to see. And I did that for four or five or perhaps six years. Before I realized that it wasn't going anywhere. People seemed interested in what I had to say, but only until a certain point. Then they backed off. So I decided to stop sharing in Denmark. Meanwhile, I was still, hmm, what to say, deepening my own direct experience of what it means to be a human being. And then a time came where I asked myself, I wonder if there is an international audience that is more willing to receive what it is that I'm sharing. At that time, I was, I was quite uncertain about my vocabulary. But I started sharing anyway in English, and at least my vocabulary has been improving tremendously <laughs> during these, these years. So I have been sharing in English for a little more than two years now. But over time, the same feeling came creeping in. That there seems to be an audience, there seems to be some people who are interested in doing the work, because it has to do with doing the work. But only until a certain degree, until on, only until a certain limit, then people are backing off. And I have to say that all this time, also the time where I was sharing in Danish, and now when I have been sharing in English, my intention has never, ever been upon entertainment, entertaining anybody. What I have been doing has nothing to do with entertainment. And I know that I have been cutting to the bone because that is what I am doing. In an... Hmm, and in so doing, trying to hmm, what to say? Can I say scare, scare those away that are only looking for entertainment? No, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but right now I, I don't have another word for it. Because I was not interested in attracting those who only want to be entertained.
but the feeling came creeping in that no matter what I did, I was sort of, again, ending up being some kind of an entertainment. During all those years, I have tried different hmm, tried different te techniques, no, tried different um, ideas out, trying to get some support. For I have been sharing this message for 10 to 12 years for free putting in my energy, and I love it. But it, there has to be some kind of purpose behind the energy that I'm putting into it. And that purpose for, for me has nothing to do with entertainment. So I've tried to raise support, different kind of support. And the last attempt to get some support failed again. <laughs> and I have been meditating upon why why is it? So, I see very clearly now what it is that is going on. I have actually been very clear about this for a long time. But I thought that I need to do one final attempt to see if it was possible. I will say this much, that at this time, I have 3,000 subscribers, and if only 1% of these 3,000 th subscribers would support what I'm doing, then I would be able to continue. But I'm not even close to 1%. So I have concluded that what I am doing has ended up being entertainment. And I'm not interested in that. I have come to realize, actually, that the spiritual community, the spiritual people, they are actually not interested in waking up. Most of the people that are spiritual what is happening is that the ego has found a refuge, a place where it can hide. And it most certainly do not want to come out of that refuge. And it sits there protecting its own ideas about what it means to be spiritual. And I have learned over the years that it is actually much more easy to help someone from the materialistic paradigm, to help someone from that paradigm to wake up, than it is to help someone from the spiritual paradigm to wake up. Because the ego has found a an almost perfect hideout in spirituality. So that's it. I'm not interested 
in entertainment. I'm interested in sharing about the next step, the next step in human evolution. But humanity is not ready yet. It has proven completely impossible to raise any meaningful support. And I will say this much right now. There are people that are supporting me in an in a big in a big way. And I will say to you, thank you from my heart for your support. But those very, very few of you, you are not supposed to finance this entire movement. And when I say movement, I'm not talking about what I am doing specifically. The movement of awakening. Awakening has to happen on two levels. We have to wake up from the materialistic worldview. That is easy to agree about. <laughs> it does not work. <laughs> we are sawing the... What's it called? <laughs> We are sawing down the tree that we are sitting in. <laughs> On the other hand, we also have to work up, wake up from spirituality. And I'm afraid that is going to be a little more difficult. Because as I said, the ego has found a nice little hideout there. Taking refuge. So modern spirituality has actually become escapism to a very large extent. It's all about spiritual bypassing. Yes, we have to wake up from non-duality as well and include everything. Hiding out in non-duality, there is no one here, there is no world, there is nothing to do, is another little trick that the human mind plays. 